good morning everybody and happy Monday. This is another week of lunches. I'm doing Valentine's themed kind of Valentine's touches throughout the whole week to give you guys some ideas a little early. So the kids have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich here. I just used one of my big cookie cutters to cut it into the shape of a heart and then I have just these cute little picks I stuck in the middle which they will kind of fold down when the lid closes but that's fine. They have some apple slices here and then I put in a little um, heart pick there. I found those ones at the Dollar Tree. They have ranch down here which I put way too much but I have like one of those open spout ones and not the squeezy ones and I wasn't looking <laughs> so they have a lot of ranch but they have cucumbers back here and I used my smaller uh, cutters to cut out like the center part of the cucumber and then they have the inner pieces too so they just have heart shapes down there and then they have some fruit loops in these little heart containers that I found at the Dollar Tree so the lid goes on and then it's just like this little snacky container which I think are super cute then they just have an apple juice today and unfortunately I don't have any cute napkins um, all this stuff that I'm using is from last year that I had and then the picks I just have all the time anyway but I didn't really like prepare myself to make these lunches I'm just using what I have on hand so it should be pretty easy for you guys to maybe replicate these lunches as well but I will show you what the kids have left when they get home okay guys so I realized this morning I didn't even show you the outside these are our yum boxes the yum box panino and what's great about them is that they are leak proof so there's ranch on the top which is the sealed compartment for this, but it doesn't spill out anywhere else, and it's awesome. Um, Connor ate everything. This is empty, and he just had that empty juice box in his um, bag, and Lacey's is in there. And Lacey told me that her lunch was not big enough, and apparently she is starving. <laughs> so she's going to get a snack right away, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody, today is Tuesday and I made the kiddos some little ham and cheese sandwiches. Um, I just cut them out with my little cookie cutter thing and then I also cut out the cheese and the ham in the same shape and just put a little bit of mayonnaise on there. They have some orange slices as well, some carrots back here and then back here I just have pretzel rods kind of broken up and then some Fruit Loops, again kind of like their dessert slash snack kind of a thing and Connor has the exact same lunch. Oh, I need to grab a juice box, probably apple juice, but I will show you guys what they have left when they get home. So let's check and see how the kids did. And hopefully you can hear me. I'm cooking dinner over there and I've got the um, hood thingy on and the dryer is going, so a lot going on over here. Looks like she ate everything. I think Connor said he didn't finish his pretzels yep he has pretzels and cereal which is totally fine since he ate his veggies and everything else and Lacey told me she took both of her sandwiches and stacked them all together to make one big one and ate it um, and she said they were really good so I thought that was kind of funny um, but he can eat that after dinner and for like a snack and we will see you guys back tomorrow Good morning everybody. Today is Wednesday. I'm going to try to rush through this because we're running behind. This lunch took me way too long. I didn't prep any last night because I totally forgot. But they have a Lunchable. Um, originally I was making X's and O's. My O kind of looks like an egg and then the X's were not coming out at all because this is thin ham and so it was like shredding apart. So I just rolled them up and stuck them on um, some little heart picks in there instead. These are whole wheat Ritz crackers. Lacey has some Chex Mix. Connor has the rest of his stuff from yesterday he didn't finish. They have some apple slices I cut out into the shape of hearts and then some carrots and then they each have a juice box as well. We'll see you guys after school. Alrighty guys, so the kids are home and I know that Connor has something left already. Lacey has little apple chunks. Just throw those out and she ate everything else. I think that's her straw wrapper from her juice box. Um, Connor apparently does not like the ham, even though he's eaten the ham on sandwiches and for uh, Lunchables last week. So it's still cold. I'm gonna give that to probably Bo to snack on or put it back in the fridge and then he ate all of that stuff as well. Cool, so we will see you guys back tomorrow.
Good morning everybody. Today is Thursday and I kind of failed at the sandwiches. I used my little heart cutter, the same one I used for the cheese here to make like little cutout windows. I don't think they really look like hearts and then I tried to sprinkle some red sprinkles in that little like cutout window. They're just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, I've done better in doing this kind of thing, but whatever. They'll still eat it. Uh, this is white cheddar cheese. It's one of those that comes in like a cheese and meat box that you find at like Christmas time. Um, so it's like shelf stable cheese or whatever. So they each just have like two pieces down in there. Then they each have a hard boiled egg right here, some cucumbers with the ranch. And I told them to just like break these in half to fit in the container if they needed to. Connor has Fruit Loops in here and a juice box. Lacey also has Fruit Loops in here again and a juice box. And then she picked out more of the uh, like Chex Mix stuff for her snack. And we will see you guys after school. And I do not like the skin on the cucumbers, so that's why it's peeled off and all that skin. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alrighty, well, Connor said he did not finish his cucumbers. Well, he doesn't like the skin, so he ate around it. But apparently he ran out of time. This looks like a mess from all the sprinkles. But, I don't know, there's stuff all over this thing, so... I don't know. It's also 7.20 at night. I normally check these right after school, but I didn't have a chance. Um, he also did not eat his cereal, so this isn't really cold anymore, and this is just messy and yucky so I'm gonna throw all that away luckily Lacey ate all of her food though there's a pick stuck to the wall over there that looks pretty funny and hers also from the sprinkles got really gross so I don't know if I'll do the sprinkles again or maybe I'll put a napkin on top next time to try to contain it or something because it's sticky and it's gross oh wait Lacey where's your heart container it's not in her bag either Lacey where is your heart container oh it's in my backpack because I had it in the bag because I had nothing else because I was like still do you also have your Chex Mix container yeah get that please Alrighty, well then, <laughs> an eventful Thursday. We will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday. So I made the kids an egg salad sandwich. They're both exactly the same lunches. So for the egg salad sandwich, I just do two hard boiled eggs for the kids, a little bit of mayonnaise, mustard, salt and pepper um, on a little heart shaped bread. And then I put a pick through the middle to help keep it together so the sandwich doesn't open. Then they have one energy ball back here. This is ranch dressing and the little Sistema container for their cucumbers. I just cut them into sticks today. Then they each have just a small piece of banana. And what I did to make sure that these do not turn brown since they're gonna be obviously hitting the oxygen for a while is I have this um, special like fruit powder stuff let me get you in real close so it's called fruit fresh produce protector and it says that it's it prevents browning and protects the fresh cut produce or the flavor of it and you can use this on where is it at like avocado um i think probably even apples obviously bananas i've used this on bananas before and it works out pretty dang good. So here's all the information. I just got this at Walmart. They do have a much bigger um, like bottle of this thing. So it's really awesome. Um, so yeah, banana, cucumbers, sandwich, energy ball. And then Connor has a cherry Kool-Aid. Lacey has an apple juice. And we will see you guys after school. Did I pack the pink one with Connor this morning, you guys? <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh my gosh, pink was supposed to be Lacey and blue was supposed to be Connor. Uh, but the kids are home. I did pack them opposite. Sorry, Connor, for giving you a pink ranch container. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yep, 
they ate or she ate everything that just cracks me up i did not even realize that this morning why didn't you guys tell me goodness gracious um this will also be the end of the lunch video for this week um connor told me that he doesn't like the skin of course so he kind of ate it like a watermelon so he just ate it like to the skin which is fine um yeah it doesn't really matter um, but let me know which lunch from this week was your favorite in the comments down below this also seems like it's going to be interesting to clean up hey guys the bananas were not brown were they A little squishy, but not brown. No, no brown. It's a little Good. Squishy. Good. Okay, so yeah, if you guys um, are interested in that stuff I showed you this morning to keep bananas from browning, Walmart, Fries, or Kroger, same store, um, has it. I think also Aldi, because I know that uh, Bella Boo's Lunches, I believe, has showed it. She got it too once, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Pretty sure it was her. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, subscribe. If you are new, I would love to have you. And also, you can head over to Instagram or Facebook if you would like to follow me there as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video this week, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.